Well, the governor's office today put out a list of more than 100 districts that have yet to submit reopening plans, including 10 from Western New York. But there is already some confusion about it. Here's two on your sides, Jackie Roberts. This is the list of Western New York schools, according to the governor's office. There are 10 total. But of the districts we've gotten a hold of already, Lewiston Porter, Salamanca, and Williamsville say they did submit their plans to the state by the 31st. Two of the three tell us they submitted their plans to the state education department without realizing they also needed to submit the plans to the Department of Health. They say this confusion is being worked out today. And also today, many district leaders had a call with their local health departments. It's not uh, something we, we take lightly with reopening schools, but we want to make sure we provide any support to the school districts that we can. Erie County Health Commissioner Dr. Gail Burstein also spoke with district leaders today. A spokesperson with the Erie County Health Department says districts should be prepared to be flexible and keep communication channels open with their parents, families, and employees. We asked Dr. Thomas Russo, the Chief of Infectious Diseases at UB, about some of the key things he thinks districts should have in mind while preparing for the school year. I have a lot of confidence in our school administrators in putting together a plan uh, that is potentially going to be effective, which will combine uh, some combination of universal mask usage, uh, decreased density in the classroom to enable physical distancing, uh, timed release of classes so we don't see crowded hallways like we've seen uh, in some other school districts uh, elsewhere. And the Niagara County Public Health Director stressed that the reopening plans will likely continue to be modified. These plans are fluid. These plans that, that the school districts are submitting may change, most likely will change uh, based on the data we have and based on experience. Jackie Roberts, Channel 2 News.